First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, royal to himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final father, the true father, one West. This is for all the kings coming back at you yet with another lesson. Title lesson is going to be um, this is a recap of America is finished. America is finished. Quote unquote, this place is finished. And this is um, a recap of what I posted earlier uh, concerning all the chariots that's, that's surrounding this place. I mean, it's been. Um, so-called UFOs. Before I go any farther, this class intended to the 12th tribe of Israel, of course, the so-called blacks, so-called African Americans, the so-called Native American Indians, the so-called Latino descent, and also our brothers all the way from Haiti, Colombia, Brazil, Barbados, Cuba, and all the various islands. To you, I say Shalom. Um, you are the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of biblical history and biblical prophecy, according to the book of James 1 and 1. KJV. So, yeah. And, yeah, this place is finished, man. And I'm going to get a couple of scriptures on this on how this place is going to be finished. You know, um, the world think these these so, quote, unquote, on our UFOs, unidentified objects, they think these aliens, but they don't understand these are the holy angels that's, that's going to come and visit this place. And when they visit, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible. Let's get there real quick. This is Habakkuk 3, verse 16. When I heard, my belly trembled. My lip quivered at the voice of rottenness entered into my bones. So he was in great fear. Habakkuk was in great fear when this, when this place was going down. And I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. So he was saying, hey, I wish I wouldn't even hear when, it's, when Yahweh Shah returns because he's going to bring so much mass destruction. And remember, we read Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 14. The spirit is on me. It says that, hey, whatever the most high do should be forever. No man can add to it. No man can take away from it. And the most high do with it that men should fear before him. So, yeah, this when this judgment hit, it's going to be for all eternity. And I know certain counts teach it's going to be regeneration. Yes, it is. There is regeneration, but it's going to be it's going to come a time where that regeneration is going to stop. That's why I tell you in the book of Daniel, it says some shall wake up everlasting um, um, uh, life, some shall ever, uh, wake up to everlasting shame and contempt. That's according to the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter. So he saw this Habakkuk, it says, enter, he said, write this enter to my bones and I tremble in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble when he cometh up. Unto the people, he would invade them with his troops. What's his troop? The UFOs, so-called UFOs. The vehicles are the most high. The angels. I'm trying to blow it up here. You see? See that chariot? He's going to invade them with his troops. And it's, a, it's a, an angelic troops from not of this world. This is Revelation 6, verse 2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, mean power and authority. And he that sat on him, Slokia, he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given to him. And, and he went forth conquering, conquering and to conquer. I mean, when the Lord come, he's going to take down all these governments. All these governments all across the world are going to be taken down. And the armies which were in the heavens follow him upon the white cloth, cloth and fine linen, fine linen, white and clean. So that lets you know that the armies, which is the chariots, which which is the angels in the chariots, which the world called the UFOs, is going to be army. You know what I mean? They're going to be um, they're going to be the in defense mode. You know, so when it says and the armies, let me get that real quick. And the armies which were in heaven follow him upon the white horses clothed in fine linen with white and clean. That's talking about the angels. So they're going to, though, these angels are in the chariots. And they are the, uh, the angelic armies of the heavens. You know? Um, There's a couple of scriptures come to mind in the book of Psalms. Uh, Isaiah 63rd chapter 2, I will not meet thee as a man. Uh, because this is, this is um, even when we go to New Testament, he said, uh, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom was of this world, then my servant would fight. So that you know that in the heavens, it's a whole different dimension. You know, that's that fourth dimension. 
Um, Esau have no idea <laughs> what he's facing. You know, you can't bring something kernel to something spiritual. You know what I mean? You feel me? Is is this is something that's supernatural? And uh, so yeah, those chariots are uh, uh, what's in those chariots are the angels. It's operated by the angels, and they are they are different sets of angelic military. You know, but it's on the right hand side, the angelic military, which is from the heavens. So that's why it says the uh, the armies, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed with fine fine linen, white and clean. That's the 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 angelic heavenly army that's going to come down and judge this place. Um. So yeah, this place is finished, man. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, the true hold back beside the King of Kings, Royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, also the Father, Father, the truth, out of one West. Shalom, Israel.